Speaker, and thank you, Chairman. I rise in support of my bill, H.R. 1432, the VSO Equal Tax Treatment Act, or the VET Act. The VET Act is a common sense, bipartisan bill, which I have been proud to lead since 2018. As a veteran myself, I know firsthand how these organizations offer vital support and a sense of community to Americans who wore our nation's uniform and sacrificed so much for our country. All veterans deserve our support and gratitude regardless of the period in which they served. Yet under the current tax code, veteran service organizations whose membership consists of less than 90% wartime veterans are prohibited from accepting tax deductible donations. This disadvantages the VSOs that serve a broad membership of both wartime and non-wartime veterans and forces them to choose between the significant benefit of being able to accept tax-deductible donations for serving the 2.4 million veterans who do, who do not meet the definition of wartime veterans. It's long past time that we fix this antiquated provision in the tax code by updating the definition of charitable contributions so that it includes congressionally chartered veteran service organizations. The VET Act would do exactly that ending an unfair tax on Americans who donate to these deserving VSOs. This legislation is supported by a host of VSOs, including AMVETS, American Legion, Fleet Reserve Association, Jewish War Veterans, Military Order of the World Wars, Non-Commissioned Officers Association, U.S. Coast Guard Chief Petty Officers Association, and TRIA, the Enlisted Association. So I want to, I want to thank my partner on this bill, Representative Jimmy Panetta, who has been a tremendous advocate for veterans in Congress and who I've been proud to work with on this bill and other legislation, especially concerning veterans. And I'd be remiss if I didn't share my appreciation for our former colleague, Representative Ron Kind, who was the Democrat lead on this bill in previous Congresses. Mr. Speaker, I urge all of my colleagues to support this bill, fix this error in the tax code for the benefit of our veteran community. And with that, I yield back.